Hi. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. It's the old witch from Little Lake. And uh, it's early in the morning and I'm recording. Uh, today is Saturday. And I'm here with uh, Stella. And actually, Holly is here too, but you can't see her. She's She's been under the weather. She's um, not been feeling good. Uh, so I took her to the doctor and uh, she's on some antibiotics and I think she'll get better but she's really kind of wanting me to hold her and love on her so that's what I've been doing. Um, I just thought I'd talk about a few things today while I put some a cute outfit on Stella. Uh, some of the I've been I, I always look at other videos um, I'm always checking uh, other videos because uh, I get, you know, of course, good ideas from them. I want to see what they're up to, what they're doing. And uh, one of the videos that I was watching, um, she said something offhandedly about how her baby, and it was something like this, don't quote me, but how her new baby, a doll, um, made her want to treat it like a real baby. And I thought, oh yeah, that is that's that is nice, um, because that's what I have tried to do with uh, my reborns and my silicone um, is treat them with respect, especially when I am on camera, because um, when you do that, when you when you um, uh, treat them like they have. You know, when you treat them with respect, it kind of implies that they have value. And of course, that's what we try to do with our real children. Um, and, and that's how, uh, so, you know, when you treat them with respect, then they start to respect themselves too. They feel that they have some value. Well, of course, these are dolls. They, they can't feel that way. But uh, because they're art objects, uh, and we've paid a lot of money for them, and we continue to pay money for them because we dress them in expensive clothes. Um, they do have value, and I think it's important to to show that in our videos. So I have always tried to do that, uh, and I've learned a couple of things along the way. Uh, one of them, uh, I don't really try to put clothes on them on a video if it's difficult to do, especially with um, a silicone, because um, the silicone, <laughs> they're, they're more difficult to dress. And, um, and then also um, some outfits like this one, and you know, having long sleeves and you know, having to, it doesn't have snaps up here. I'd have had to pull it over her head or pull it up this way. It's awkward, so I don't do that on video now. I, I just put things on the babies that will appear to be um, easier so that it doesn't look uncomfortable for the doll, which, of course, it wouldn't. You could dangle these babies upside down, and it wouldn't make any difference, except it does. So that's why I think it's important to, um, when, you're, when you're handling the babies, especially on camera, I think it's really important whoops, to um, handle them in a way that implies that they are real babies. And you handle them in such a way that um, it shows uh, respect and gentleness for the art form. <laughs> yeah, and this is Stella, little, my little Stella. The other thing that I have uh, that's kind of my thing is I don't put a lot of pacifier. I don't use pacifiers. Um, I think it kind of takes away. No, it's just a personal preference, but I think it kind of takes away from the the look of the baby because you. Um, I just want to make sure you can see because you want uh, to see the baby's face and uh, her mouth, and that that's that's part of the reason that. You choose a baby. One of the reasons that I do is because I, I want to see the, the, the look of what the baby is making, what look. The other thing that I do is I don't brush their hair. I think brushing hair all the time can pull the hair or make the hair 
I, I don't know. I just, I don't think it's necessary. I just use my hands. And with, when you use your hands and your fingers, you can do so much with, with the hair that you don't necessarily need a brush. This little curl was very easy to do with my fingers. You might want to wet it a little bit and, you know, I, I might spritz it and then I can, you know, get the curl out that way. But uh, I don't use a brush. Very, very, very rarely do I use a brush because I just think it's, it's tough on the hair. So, but that's, you know, so that's something. I don't use a pacifier. I don't use a, a brush. I try to treat, treat these dolls like they have value and then and, and I want to I want to uh, uh, show the collectors that I do value the dolls and I think when you show that and you're gentle with the, your babies as you're dressing them oh I know what I was gonna when I first started well before I started it and I started looking at the the channels that were out there I watched a channel called My Little Tulip and I think everybody knows her and uh, her story and she was one of the first people that I watched and she treated she had a, uh, a a doll and I think it was a little boy and I think she named him Lucas and she treated him she bathed him one time and it was amazing to watch how gentle she was with that that doll and how she talked to the doll and, and the things that she did with it. And it just made me feel like, gosh, I want a baby just like that. Uh, she was so uh, kind and gentle and, and her personality came through too. I think um, uh, a lot of that has to do with personality when you um, are, you know, the things that, well, of course, the things that you say on camera, the, the way that you, you move on camera. There's, there's another uh, uh, video that I love to watch. I think it's, uh, oh, I, I don't know. I'll have to get the names of some of these, but um, she, her voice is very soothing and she moves slowly and she's very, very gentle with her babies. Look at this, isn't this outfit cute? Look at you. <laughs> it's got, it's just pale blue. It's not corduroy, it's cotton, and um, it's got, I guess it looks like a cat, a little cat's face on the front, and uh, it snaps up here. It's a, it's a next, and it snaps down here, and look at the cute little, little feet have a little legs. Anyway, um, so she moves very slowly, and she takes her time, and she has a soothing voice, and it makes you want to continue to watch her channels. You want to go back to her channels. Um, uh, those are the ones that uh, I, I, I like to watch. Let's see, what else? Uh, I, well, you can just tell when you look at different channels if the collector, there are some collectors who, who maybe only have one or two dolls, and they love their doll, and they, they show it. They talk about how much they like their doll, um, and I think that that's important too. I have a lot of babies, but every single one of them uh, fills a need for me, and I, I really enjoy uh, playing with them, seeing them. The other thing that I have done, which I'm shocked at, is I have changed out, I think, five bodies. No, not changed the bodies. I, I, I kept the body, but I restuffed them. I, I don't like a lot of flop, I guess, in my babies um, because I, I like to pose them. And like, for instance, this little girl, oh my God, she was perfect when she came and I loved her, but she was extremely floppy. She didn't have a whole lot of weight up in this part of her body. So um, I reweighted her, and uh, I've gotten to be, you know, very confident that I can do it. And I, I, I think that when you start collecting, um, this is what happens. You, you, you get more confident with uh, doing different things with your babies, and 
Uh, so I have reweighted, as I said, five, <laughs> five babies. And uh, I feel, I'm putting little pink booties on her feet. I feel really good about that. I've also been talking to Stella about the new dog that we're going to get tomorrow. Yeah. And she has a little dog here. And then she's also got her baby that maybe she wants to hold. Yeah. So, and then I thought I'd put, well, I'll put that on her in a minute. I want to get my little, my little sick baby here and kind of just talk to you about her. She's just not, she's not feeling good. This is, this is my baby. She's been asleep. Let me see. Oh, oh she's awake. I've, I've, I, she has had a pacifier because she's just not feeling good. So she, she has gotten that and that's helped her. But I've got her in her pajamas and she's, she's really nice and toasty and, and wrapped up like in a little cocoon here because she'd been sick. Yeah. So this is my beautiful little, oh, I've been holding her, my little angel, Holly. All right. I'll let you go back to sleep, girl. But she, she wants to be close by, so I've been carrying her and keeping her close by. Uh, the other thing I don't do on my videos is role play. You're not gonna see me uh, feed, feed a baby. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, that's just a, a, a preference, you know, personal preference. Uh, I'm not gonna be taking them out. Um, I, I do I do give them personalities which which I have seen uh, some collectors do and I like that because when you look at a baby uh, and and play with a baby doll for a while they do kind of take on personalities uh, so I, I I give my dolls personalities and talk about them as they have the personality and so uh, I do that but I don't I don't role play. I also like to think about when I'm on video, what are the things that you see um, in the video? So I pay attention. I look through the screen and I pay attention and try to think about what you're seeing. So uh, today it's kind of a mess, but I do, I do work on that. All right, come here, you. Let's put a hat on you since this is a cute, she's got this little, look at this little hat, this crazy little hat. It's a knit hat and it's got a little fur on the inside here. It's kind of cute. All right, let's put this on you. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Oh my goodness gracious, look at you. Little cute baby girl. Yeah, there's your ears. Uh-huh. There she is. <laughs> Can you see these ears are so cute? You're so cute with your ears. Yes, you are. <laughs> so, that's my girl, Stella. Anyway, um, they are a work of art, and they do cost us a lot of money, and I think we should treat them with respect, especially if we're going to go to all the trouble of making a video and uh, spending time doing that. All right, there she is. She's beautiful. <laughs> all right, that's about all I have to say today, I think. Um, Anyway, I do value my, my hobby a lot, and I value my babies, and I value you coming and making comments and sharing this, and I like to see what you're doing out there, too, with your, your collection and your babies, and I, I, um, I really value the ones that uh, are gentle with their babies. Okay, I guess that's enough of this, this crazy ladies talk and um hope you have a good weekend i'm gonna get my la la tomorrow oh i know what i was gonna do i was gonna show you a picture of her but i don't okay wait a minute
Wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can get, I had to go get my phone. And uh, just a minute, I'm going to, okay. Let's see. Okay, I think that's, this is, hopefully, I don't know. There she is. Look at her. I don't know. Can you see it? Or are you? Okay, there she is. I don't know if you're getting the glare. This is from my phone. Okay, is she, are you? Okay. Look at her. <laughs> she weighs one pound, 11 ounces. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's eight weeks old, and I'm getting her tomorrow. And you can bet she will be on, she will be on, on the video. Okay, I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to name her Lala. All right, thank you so much. Have a good weekend. Bye.